guillotine, huh? I can't think of anything positive to do with those. Just think how it just brings up the French Revolution, to be honest. Ooh, strings. A pitiful figure who is entirely under the dark spell of Merrick Ishtar. His own conscious self has retreated deep within himself. Oh, crap. You're playing high level die in this area, you'd be sort of screwed if you're on my side. Eric do any better with his puppet? I don't know. the center now or I just want to keep hugging the wall I got an idea how the AI felt when I had to play next to that one um, obstacle. <coughs> well, I guess the AI wouldn't have any feelings either way about that now, would it? So I start out with such a high natural advantage, you sort of suck at this game.
This game's pretty much over. I know that was completely pointless, but whatever. Cell's not very good at dungeon dice monsters, apparently. <coughs> yeah, we know, we've played them before. Win or lose, there are no hard feelings. Games are meant to be fun, that's the most important thing, don't you think so? Coming from a character who's played more life or death matches than anyone. Well, I guess most of that stuff was done by the Pharaoh, but... This could be a tough matchup, to be honest. <laughs> Yugi seems is more like the type to use low-level summons early, and... This is one field where I have an innate disadvantage of getting down the field quickly. At least you'd hope the AI would use low-level monsters early in this map. <laughs> I mean, if you did, they'd be... Any opponent would probably be toast. Because they start with very little room to build in effectively, especially if they want to get out and go on the offensive. point of that. Our program the AI in this game must have been screwing around. no other explanation available, is there?
Well, I guess that does create a block point, so it'd be hard for me to lock them in from here. But by the same token, it leaves an opening for me to come in by the side. Which is sloppy dual strategy. <laughs> One thing you can be sure of in this game, you're not guaranteed to summon anything, so if you don't connect early, you can really bite yourself. And the only real, real way through all those obstacles is to take the path I did, basically. So maneuvering as they did was sort of dumb. Well, at least he can connect the paths now. Are you kidding me? I can't explain in words how dumb that move was. Seeker finally got beaten by someone in this game. The older twin gate heroes who stand guard over their maze. He controls Majin to eliminate all intruders. Huh? So you willingly enter our maze? That is not courage, only stupidity. No light will shine your way. No, not a single ray of hope. <laughs> this isn't really your maze so much as it's both players' maze. I'll be, you'll probably start with something powerful and screw yourself. Oh, he's actually gonna play a low level monster? And he's assuring the easiest side I would have to connect to isn't open? Ah, too far. There we go. I don't know if the AI is actually smart there, or if that was just beginner's luck. For some that controls Majin, where are the high-level summons there? Don't get me wrong, I like that he's playing low-level monsters early, I mean... It means I don't actually have a free ride down there. So he doesn't get a string of bad luck, I mean, now he's got some time he can actually afford to summon something high-level. He at least has a defense to play with. Dang, am I getting screwed on the dice rolls. <coughs> Jeez. I'm really gonna get boned this time, aren't I?
another low level summon. So you're gonna try and come in through there. Interesting. Not necessarily a bad plan. The lack of movement would seem to be his issue right now. Defense is sort of useless in this setup, though. I don't have anything that can defend. Probably some movement, huh? And he wastes it. Even when the A starts off smart, it seems to just play really stupid. Clown, yay. <coughs> the master of the dark jackal sect who curses his own fate, blah 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 blah. Yeah, we know. For 3,000 years, we are cursed to guard the tombs of kings. To break the infernal curse, nothing could be too abhorrent. Questionable placement on that. Lord of D is a very powerful monster, though. <coughs> I 
Actually, Lord D could possibly make you invincible. Sort of crazy. All you gotta do is place yourself in a situation where the only way to attach to you is in one area. Put Lord D in front of your Die Master and put a powerful dragon in front of him. Well, it doesn't even have to be a powerful dragon, just a dragon. He'd be invincible at that point. Since you made it so no one can touch you, then be able to just work your way down the field offensively. <coughs> well, this game doesn't seem to be one that really rewards good defensive technique that often. That's the guard crest, I'll take it. Probably the most useful guy crest around, assuming you don't have an offensive powerhouse going for you. Unfortunately, that's what we're building here. That was a bad build decision, though. Here we go, come on. Or maybe the AI in this game doesn't have any real learning capabilities, so they don't realize my usual ta tactics and can't really build the counter of them. At least then they explain why the AI comes across as so rock stupid. Trying to mention the trigger out if I can mention the dice in such a way to prevent him from being able to easily connect with me and move down there. You know what? Instead of worrying about that, I should probably just go for the one force trauma kill, shouldn't I? Because <coughs> the AI is too dumb to build anything meaningful. Only in this game can the AI have the edge in terms of starting options and building, and yet somehow managed to waste them utterly.
die. Starts out the good monster, then utterly blows it. Very 100. Yay. Two more matches to go. Well, not two more matches, two more tournaments to go. Well, hey, I'll manage to have this done before lunch today. Huh. Oh, well, we'll find out. Till next time.